All right, man. Jenna Big unifies the middleweight titles last night. I watched it versus Vincino, whatever, Gula Tariri, whatever that dude was. Horrible fight. Uh, top rank ain't do nothing but waste money on that fight. They trying to push that, you know, Jenna Big's the boogeyman. And, you know, they tried to uh, uh, piss on Charlo name a couple times in the fight. They tried to push on Lara name a couple times in the fight. They out there lobbying for Jenna Big to get some of these fights. But don't nobody know none of these dudes, and and don't none of, nobody know none of these dudes in the um in the division. Other than you know, Lara been around, Jamal been around. He ain't active. But at the end of the day, it's a piss poor division, you know. And I didn't really see anything special about Jenebic watching him, you know, full fight for the first time. I watched him here and there, but yeah, he got some power, but it ain't like you know, worldly power. You know what I'm saying? He like you know. I don't see nothing special with him. You know what I'm saying? I don't see why guys would be avoiding him. Um, I, th- I guess financially, the money ain't there, and the guy that he fought was terrible. For him to hold a world title, I think that's a disrespect to the division, and that's a disrespect to the to the IBF. If that's who you deem to be a world champion, y'all got to do a better job with our ranking the system because ain't no way. He beat Esquivel for a court and 12-round decision for, for the belt. You know what I'm saying? And if you look, every other fight he had outside of that was in Germany. Every other fight he had was in Germany. Hold on. And this is who we making world champions with, man. I tell you, boxing need a reform all the way around, especially with the ranking system. This, this dude didn't have no business being on our TV. This shit should have been on ESPN plus plus. Yeah, I said it. Check out the box reaction playlist. Day thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Germany 02 debut. All in Germany, 17, 46, 3, 42 and 0, 3 and 0, 2 and 2, 8 and 16 and 1, 1 and 3. All in Germany, 0 and 16 and 0, 5 and 9, 9 and 36, 2, 2 and 0, 22 and 7, 22, 39 and 1, 10, 0 and 0. Um, had a draw with a guy, 7, 0 and 1, um, 10, 0 and 0. All in Germany, by the way, 13, 1 and 1. Never heard of these guys, 38, 6 and 0. Uh, 14, 6, and 2. 18, 1, and 0. Then he fought Escobar for Akua, 30, 0, and 0. So every other fight he had was in Germany until he fought in Fort Bend Community Center in Rosenberg, Texas, right outside of Houston. And you telling me this dude deserved to be a fucking world champion or world title shot, man, and dude, with that record, he shouldn't have been an intercontinental champion. And this is why you wasting, you know, top rank. This is how you wasting the ESPN date, bro. After a college football game, man, trash. They couldn't get nobody else to fight on that date. This dude should be an opening fight card. This dude, this dude shouldn't be getting paid no money, bro. He should be getting paid opening fight money. This should be the fight that you see when you first when the telecast first start. No intro, no nothing. No nothing. Let's keep it a bean. You know, this this was this was a horrible fight last night. Horrible. Horrible. This dude sat here and ran all night. Didn't wanna didn't wanna uh didn't wanna exchange blows. Got beat on, got beat on some more. You know, then he ended up getting knocked out. I think he knocked him out with an uppercut. This dude did not come to fight. And now, you know, now he's called the unified champion, Genevieve. Didn't see nothing special about Kid. Nothing. Another stiff Kazi. Another triple G clone. Don't see nothing special. Nothing. He okay, he okay for not saying he can't be great. But I don't really. I'm not. Um, I'm. I'm not. I'm. I'm not. I'm not impressed. I'm not. I don't see. Oh, I mean, he's gonna go and be the greatest fighter of all. No. No, not at all. Not impressed. Not a, not at all. They could have kept that shit. 
They could have kept it. You know, they could have kept it. You know, they could have kept it. They were trying to pump them up through the whole telecast. You get an opponent in there that just ran. You could have put that on, on nine TV fighting with nobody cared. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but I mean, I, I, if, if, if this, this, this other dude, you know, whatever his name is, uh, Vinzoni, if he never fight again, if I never see him fight again, I would be happy. And then you got Tim Zoo on the telecast saying that, um, What's up with these champions not fighting like like Charlo and, and like Charlo did versus Canelo and all that? Like, okay. <laughs> okay. Put that, don't put that evil on Showtime. Don't put that evil on Showtime. <laughs> oh man, y'all, y'all eat the bull, y'all eat y'all bullshit. Y'all eat y'all bullshit. Y'all, y'all talk about the, the, the piss poor shit y'all putting on over here. And what they wanted to do was do Escobar Falcor versus this guy. But what they should have done was, was made that fight in America. So Falcor could have fought him in America. But neither way, it was gonna be a shitty fight. And just because this kid got two belts don't mean, you know, these these dudes gonna be, you know, anxious to fight him. So anxious no no, they ain't gonna be anxious to fight this guy he don't bring nothing to the table financially and he he can punch too so you know these dudes want you mean you can't even get lara and jamal charlo in the ring together how you gonna throw this man you can't even get pbc fighters fighting pbc fighters so how you think jenna big gonna get in the mix that's you gotta ask yourself how you think jenna big gonna get in the mix when these PBC fighters are refusing to fight each other. Riddle me that, Bernardo, whatever his name is, and Tim Bradley. You can't get these names. They they, they, got, they be asking ESPN analysts to go in there and beg and do the Keith Sweat. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. They be asking these dudes to beg, bro. Yeah, Charlo should get in the ring with him and, and, and Earl should do this. And they may be on their motherfucker. I like that's going to do something. They gonna act like that's gonna do something. You know. But you know, Jenna Big is a solid fighter. I'm not a hundred. I was never impressed with Triple G. All the hype everybody gave, gave Triple G. I was never impressed with that. But Jenna Big is is okay. It ain't nothing to write home about. It ain't nothing to be, oh, my God, I got to see Jenny Big fight again. If I never seen him fight again, I wouldn't care. You know, if I never seen Dog fight again, I wouldn't shed a tear. Just to keep it funky with you. Just to keep it funky with you. And, you know, does his, does his opponent, you know, have, have something to do with that? Absolutely. Dog could have came to fight. He 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 came to get a check, but that's what happened when you give a dude a title who ain't never left Germany. That's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened, and they need to do a better job of, of vetting these fighters and making these guys title contenders and champions and weak ass fights. They need a, a universal system for these dudes to fight to get be world champions. Maybe you should fight somebody in the top 10 and the top five and then the top three or something like that before you get a, get a title shot. That's the way it should be. But excuse me, but this, this guy, I think he's solid. You know, right now he's number one in the division. He got two belts, but you know, could Lara beat him? Possibly. Could Jamal beat him? Possibly. Could he beat them? Absolutely. So, I said before, it is what it is. You can't even get Lara and Jamal to get in the ring with each other. How you gonna throw Jenna Big in the mix like that? Come on, this is being real. I'm just being real. So, 
Um, but uh, but yeah, it is what it is. Congratulations to him. He gonna have a tough time getting fights. I mean, everybody got a tough time getting the fights they want, even people that's in the same motherfucking uh, uh sides of the streets. So, you know, this is what I tell you. I'll be lobbying for these these wild fights and guys jumping up two or three weight class to fight. How about we just start on making fights in a division that pe- that that people want to see and not that and that and that's not money grabs. Y'all, y'all love to let Al Heyman pump and dump y'all ass with these money grabs. You know, and I know if y'all can't spot a money grab, y'all can't spot a hoe. <laughs> y'all be wiping these hoes, man. <laughs> but thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially, want to support the channel. Cash App Dollar Sign CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.